today i have a very interesting session on the new pathways program and the way i am going to approach it is slightly different than what you would normally get if you attend a a workshop on the new pathways program one of the thing that i believe those who have used the old system and the new system assuming you have been practicing with the new system is toastmasters has essentially nailed the user interface what do i mean by that before a few months ago if we wanted to onboard new members and explain to them how to use the pathways program we had to sit with them we had to literally train them this is what you need to do this is how you complete the project and it was not very user friendly or intuitive there is a saying in computer world uh, which says that user interface is like a joke if you have to explain it it's probably not very good and that was the story with the old pathways we had to explain but having spent some time with the new system i believe that it is no longer a joke it is intuitive as long as members have fairly good understanding of how to open a website they should be able to navigate and complete the whole program um, without much help from the vp education or other senior members in the club but today i want to focus on something that we can now do which was not possible before and that is essentially to use a mobile phone for the entire toastmaster journey yo yo please can you sit down my cat has come on the table and disturbing me what i'm going to do is i'm going to simulate to you how i believe we can experience pathways using a mobile phone and to achieve that what i have done is i am running my toastmasters website in a browser mode in a, a mobile mode uh, right now i'm simulating my samsung phone but if you all are having your phone besides you you can do the same thing go to toastmasters.org on your mobile phone because my entire presentation or my demonstration will be how to use a mobile phone for your toastmasters journey if this is your mobile phone and you have opened the toastmasters website you can for example click here and say login and login to the website and so when you log into your mobile you get the entire website accessible for us we are going to explore the base camp but even if you were a club officer and you wanted to do your work related to membership management you could do now on your mobile but my focus today primarily will be on the base camp and how we can as i said leverage mobile phone to first of all go through the projects prepare for the speech deliver the speech receive feedback at the club from your evaluator and sometime when you are taking up the role as a evaluator you can on your mobile phone deliver the feedback to the member immediately after you have um, after the speaker has completed their speech you don't have to wait till you come home uh, go through your notes what did you write and then open toastmasters website and then fill up a pdf file and then say no it's now all real time the first part i am going to assume is i want to prepare for my project i want to know what the project is go through the objectives and start preparing my speech when you open any active path the first thing that it does is it takes you to the last place you left so if you were reviewing a project and you were on page 11 in my case it has taken me exactly to page 11 and i can now read that page 11 and after i read i can go to the next page 
which will now take me to page 12. So the next time, if I had closed my browser and I open next time to the same path, it will take me to page 12. And this is the nice thing about the new system that it remembers where you left off and takes you exactly to that place. So let's say I'm reading, I'm completing my uh, understanding what I have to do. I can tick that once I schedule my speech, I can click on the tick mark. And then if I have some tasks to do, I can enter the tasks and keep a note of it. Okay, I need a prop and add that task and keep it. So that next time before my speech is uh, ready, I will make sure this checklist is uh, ticked. Okay, I need a prop. I have to remember it on the day of the speech. So it's part of your interactive. It's not just about reading, but it is also taking notes and interacting two ways with the new pathway system. And if I click on my profile, I can go to Toastmasters Home. Why I want to show you Toastmasters Home is because I want you to explore also, even though it's not part of the new pathway system, I want you to explore Udly to prepare your speech. If you scroll down here, okay, here you have Udly. And Udly also is mobile friendly, which means if you want to click on Udly and if you have created a draft of your speech, you can use Udly to practice your speech. I don't know how many of you all know about Udly. I don't know how many of you all know that Udly is part of your Toastmasters uh, profile, that you can access it for free to practice your speech using artificial intelligence. If you have never done it, I suggest you have a look at it and then use it to practice your speech. Once you have practiced your speech, let me go back to Basecamp and let's say it's the two days before my speech and the evaluator has been assigned to me. And in my case, let's say my evaluator is Dinesh Kumar Pal, who is a club member and he's going to evaluate this speech of mine, which is, uh, let me show you, it's evaluation and feedback, right? It took me exactly back to that page 12, which I had left last time. And let's say I want now to be evaluated by Dinesh and I want him to evaluate me online. How do I do that? One way is if I go home, if I click on this home icon here, and if I go here, you know, instead of clicking on the path, if I click using my, not click, but if I use my finger to move towards the right, I have paths, I have achievements, I have feedback. I can click on evaluation feedback. And if I scroll down, I can see all the evaluation forms that are available. I have uh, evaluation and if I, if I click on view all, by the way, it will show me everything. I can scroll through all the projects that are available in pathways. Okay. But what I want Dinesh to evaluate me is I want him to evaluate me on this project evaluation and feedback, the first speech. So when I find this resource in the feedback section, I, I will click on the share icon. I want to share this feedback to uh, Dinesh. I will put my speech. I will select the club in which I will be giving this speech. I will select the date on which I will be delivering it. Let's say it's day after tomorrow. And here I can give my comments to Dinesh saying, please focus on my vocal variety because I believe that is an area that requires some improvement. Now, when I click on send in his inbox, he will receive a notification saying that, oh, sorry, evaluator, I have to select by clicking here and I will choose the evaluator Dinesh like this and then click send. Now what is going to happen is Dinesh will receive a electronic notification saying that Kajitan Barreto wants you to evaluate the speech. These are the notes that he has given. This is the speech title. And 
Dinesh will be able to deliver the feedback to me, the evaluation feedback online electronically. I'll flip it a little bit and let's say I am Dinesh. Just pretend that I am Dinesh and I am going to the meeting. I have received my uh, request from the, uh, from Kajit and Bareto and I want to deliver my feedback of the speech after the speaker has finished electronically. So there are two ways I can do that. One is I will get the electronic notification from the, uh, from the speaker and then I can directly um, start filling up that form. But you know club members, most of them are not tech savvy and maybe they have forgotten to send you the notification to evaluate them. No problem. I can also access the same option feedback and since I know that the speaker is giving this project evaluation and feedback, what I can do is I can click on this icon. Now I'm the evaluator, right? So I will click this icon saying I want to deliver my feedback to this whoever this per person is. So in this case, I will click here and then I can type this uh, name of the speech title. This would be there on the, let's say, agenda. If I had received it electronically, then I would not have to fill this because it would be there already. Similarly, club, I will choose. I will select the member. In this case, I'm actually evaluating Kajit and Barreto. Ah, it will not allow me to choose myself because I can't evaluate myself. So for the sake of argument, I will check, select a random um, speaker. The date, when I do that, it will open up to me the same version that we used to have as a PDF file where I can enter the things that the speaker did very well, the things that he may want to work on, the areas that he can challenge himself or herself and then click on the various items. For example, I was told to look at, look at vocal variety and I could say, no, this requires, uh, try to focus on adding pauses in your speech. You spoke too fast. And like this, I can complete it. Of course, this is not a real evaluation, so I will not submit it. But assuming I did this and I clicked on share evaluation, then the speaker will automatically get this evaluation in his Toastmasters Basecamp profile. That's it. No need to print PDFs, no need to share PDFs via WhatsApp or email, no need to wait for the uh, evaluator to send you the PDF file and then save it somewhere on your computer or somewhere else. No, it's now all electronic. Encourage your members, first of all, to share the details using the share option in the evaluation. Or even if they have not shared, encourage evaluators to go ahead and anyway do electronic evaluations. So this is how you can deliver feedback or receive feedback while the meeting is in progress or once the speech is completed. And that way, everything becomes real time. Everything is fresh in your mind. You don't have to refer to notes. The feedback is timely and it is helpful. Problem that we have with feedback is when you request for a feedback or you want to give a feedback, if I want to deliver feedback on icebreaker, you will notice that I can only choose the clubs that I belong to. I can't give feedback to a member. Let's say I am visiting uh, to another club and I'm acting as an evaluator or I'm acting as a speaker. Then this electronic thing doesn't work because you are limited to the clubs that you belong to and you are limited to the members who are active members of that club. So the question you might ask me is, what happens if I want to uh, visit another club and take up the role of an evaluator? What happens is if you want to deliver feedback to and in a club that you are not a member of, then you'll have to follow the normal procedure of sharing PDF files. If you click feedback here and you see evaluation feedback, there is an option here. Digital forms are available below. So if I want to click on this PDF, then it will give me the 
PDF versions of them. So you can use them to download by clicking on this download button and then download it and share it with your evaluator. Or the evaluator can download the form, fill it up and send it to you after they have completed the filling the PDF file. So this option still exists, but this is only when situations where you are an evaluator in a club or a speaker in a club that is not one of your clubs. The other thing that we can do, and you should start encouraging your club members, is not just evaluations. What happens, for example, at the end of every speech, we have this one minute of silence, correct? To give feedback to, your, to the speaker. In the olden days, we used to give a small piece of paper for them to write. We would collect them and then give it to the speaker. You can now train your club members whenever they want to give feedback at the end of every speech, not evaluation, feedback. Oh, you did great or well done or something like that. Congratulations on completing your level five or level one. Amazing. So that kind of messages can be done by clicking on feedback but this is now called member feedback this is not evaluation feedback so we have evaluation feedback and member feedback so you can encourage for example at the end of the speech you can tell all your club members just go to the base camp click on member feedback and you can say give feedback right you can request feedback but more here i'm showing you how you can give feedback and when you click on give feedback it will ask you, okay, this is the uh, club which you belong to. This is the member who has just spoken, let's say, Dinesh Kumar Pal. You can give for multiple people also. You can choose multiple, but I'm in this case just going to give to one. And you can give your feedback. The one line, two lines that you want to give, you can type them here. In addition to that, you can also assign a badge. I'll say inspiring badge. And then I can say, wow, your story touched me. Something like that. So you give feedback and then you assign a badge and you can decide whether this feedback will be visible only to Dinesh Kumar Pal or it will be visible to all members. Because it's a positive feedback, I would want all club members to see this feedback so i will click post feedback if i wanted this feedback only to this member then i will choose this option and then just click post feedback and he will see it in his basecamp profile oh i have received a badge and i've received a, this particular feedback amazing so this can be now your electronic version of giving feedback after each speech and i'm sure this exercise once everyone is trained can be done within one minute without creating overall disturbance or delay that normally happens if you ask them to fill a form or if you give them a piece of paper and you're trying to collect it, it creates disturbance. But this will be a good step in for you all to collect actionable feedback that is there in his profile all the time. But it is not limited to only that. You can give any feedback and any badges at any time. For example, Let's say Dinesh Kumar Pal actually was the uh, table topic master, right? And I want to give him feedback on his role now, not on the speech, right? At the end of the meeting, what I will do, I'll select the member. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's choose another member now. Let's say um, Priscilla was the um, table topic master. And I, I want to give her feedback on that role. Type the feedback, but before that, I will select the right badge because there is a badge for table topics here. So I will select topics master and then give feedback for that role to that member. So for example, I'll say the topics for act and engaging, it helped guests uh, participate in a meeting and motivated them. Well done, right? So I can give this feedback on the role, I can give feedback based on the speech. I can give feedback even, let's say, our VP 
PR has won a district uh, award for the best poster. Come here and give feedback, right? So I would say, I'll select the member who who was a VPPR. Let's say Nameti, for example, he's a VPPR. I will give a let's say exceptional badge, for example, and give feedback on that. Congratulations on uh, achieving the district award. Uh, and it's an accolade for a club. Whatever you feel like, you can share that. And it doesn't have to be always positive, by the way. If you think that the member has done something that requires correction, you can do that also. Just I would advise you to not make it visible to all club members, but visible to selected member only. So this is how you can get give feedback to members on their speeches, on their roles, or anything that they have done well, or something that they can improve upon, all from the mobile phone at any time. You can also request the feedback. For example, I did the topics uh, master role today, and I would like members to give me feedback on my role. Instead of waiting for them, I can request them. I can say, click request feedback, and I will select my club. I will select, let's say, all the members who I want to receive feedback from, it will tell me that I am requesting feedback from four people now, Achini, Willy, plus two more. So this is the request. I can say this is visible to all club members or only to these four people so that only they will give me feedback. Same thing, send the request. Now they will get a notification in their email saying that Kajitin Barreto is requesting feedback. They click, they come here and they can give me the feedback like how, how I shown you earlier. Now, where does all this feedback go? You will find them under achievements so in the parts and learnings next to it is the achievements achievements is now more i would say usable than what it was before we did have achievement board but all the badges that you have earned are now available to you in addition to the badges so i have quite a few of them the feedback badges are also available so whoever has given me this innovative courageous and you can see this two next to collaborative. That means two times I have received this badge. So as you receive this badges more and more, the count will, the badge will be showing, but how many times you have received this, it will show, right? Mm, and, and what we can do with this badge? For example, this inspiring badge, I would like to share it on my LinkedIn profile mm, to show the appreciation so i can click on this badge and out of the box you can share it on linkedin or facebook these are the two out of the box uh, options available to you so if you click on linkedin it will simply create a post for you on linkedin with this badge something like this and then you can type your uh, post and then post it to linkedin or facebook what if you want to share it on other platforms other than uh, LinkedIn or Facebook? In this case, what you can do is you can copy this URL and then post it to WhatsApp, to Instagram. Uh, it achieves the same effect in the sense the link will show that badge. The other thing that you can do is once you complete any projects before uh, you had, there was a way for you to print your certificates, but now they are available here in the achievement tab itself. So I have, for example, completed the persuasive influence level five in the new pathways. So this certificate is available to me here. I can click on it and it will open for me my certificate. This certificates can no longer be printed by VP ad as was possible before. At least I haven't found a way, but members can print their certificates directly from here. In addition to that, there is something called also a speech log. And this is sometimes important because have you ever come across situations where the evaluators forget to send you the evaluation form? And also even with this new electronic, uh, you know, some members will still say, oh, this looks too complicated. I am not going to do it. I will do it with the PDF file. I'll, and then they forget to send you the evaluation form and you're waiting for them. You send reminders. They'll say, I'll send you tomorrow. After you give your speech, you can 
come home or at the end of the speech using your mobile phone keep a log for your own reference so that even if you have not received the evaluation form you know exactly when you had done the speech or what was the title of your speech it is there as a log so if i scroll to uh to this and go to the end so once you have delivered your speech um it will tell you what to do but what i'm going to show you is this is the speech log at the last page of your project there is something called a speech log so this is for your own reference after you deliver a speech you can say uh, the power of exercise or the speech that i gave and i record it for my own personal record who was the evaluator let's say dinesh kumar pal and what are the evaluation resource i will select that form what happens uh, if the evaluators not from one of these clubs possible right sometime we bring evaluators from other that, yeah i was about to ask yeah so in this case what we will do is i will not select this uh, club and evaluator but i will say in the description i will put uh, the speech was evaluated by dinesh from uh, let's say he is from another club okay uh, advanced yes, toastmasters club i can put those de details because this is not mandatory to choose the club and the evaluator i will i can put them in the request disk and save the log so even if the evaluator is an external evaluator i can still maintain the log so that i know for future uh, what i have done and one which date and who was the person everything now can be done from your mobile phone and that is what i wanted to sort of give you an idea so you carry this to your clubs encourage them to start studying from the mobile start evaluating from the mobile give feedback receive feedback share badges all from the mobile phone